So yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I guess one thing that was I was kind of thinking particularly towards the end there is that like you have I guess a couple delay sort of type things going on, but because it's quite lo-fi, it doesn't like repetition is not repetition. Like repetition is even at the end when you had kind of like a, a, a fairly static loop, it degrades I, I guess in like a very fast and very gnarly way. So it's kind of repetition, but not repetition, if that kind of makes yeah. sense. Like, yeah. is that like a, a very deliberate choice of using that kind of delay? Or is it like a kind of a byproduct of, yeah, like, I don't know what. It, it, it's a choice. Yeah, definitely. I, I have other ones that are a little bit more. <laughs> <laughs> but this one, yeah, it's so it just holds the loop. And then every time you kind of release it, it just fades a little bit more. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I think, yeah, it's funny because one of the things I've been listening to a lot is this disintegration loops by Brzezinski and it kind of, at the, at the end, it kind of had that feeling of uh, the loss of sound, but a prolonged yeah, yeah. loss of sound. So that was, yeah, kind of the, the aesthetics that, I, it wasn't a conscious choice, but yeah. suddenly I was like, eh, I think that's what's happening. So that, yeah, hmm. so it's, uh, yeah. <laughs> It was it funny. To, it's just funny to work with this and see it degrading more and more. Yeah, yeah, because it, it's kind of I, I I I use looping and sampling a lot, but I I like the idea of non non repetitive loops or specifically loops that like didn't happen in like so like you you play the sound, but then what we hear back is something different. In this case, it's because of like the the sort of low fineness sort of degrades yeah. it. But I often like things that like take what you've done and either shuffle it around or do something else with it. But the idea of repetition, but not repetition. Like, I, I remember one of the, this was God, many, many years ago. I was, I was in, I was going to a supermarket with a girlfriend and she went inside to go shopping or whatever. And I was waiting in the car. The beginning of the story is really boring, but I, I just had some random station on the radio. And I guess the DJ went to the bathroom or something because I, I guess they were playing a CD and the CD got stuck and it just sort of sat there. And I was sitting there and I was like, she was in there for like 10 minutes and I just like, I left it on there and I was like transfixed with this. I mean, for one, it's a weird thing to happen. So yeah, like yeah. that was kind of novel, but the listening to something, I mean, it was a CD skip worth of repetition. So it wasn't a very long loop. I don't remember, you know, like a, a second or something like that, but it became really, really interesting. And like around that time, I think I was reading a bunch of Cage stuff, but I think he's got a really cool quote where like, if something is boring, listen to it 10 times. And if it's still boring to it, listen to it a hundred times or, or something I'm yeah. paraphrasing, but it was something like that. But I got into this idea of like vertical listening. So listening to the same thing over and over and you're no longer listening to this. You're kind of listening to like sort of layers yeah. of, of kind of things that go this way. And for a while after that, I got really into just, I had like multiple loopers set up all the time and I was like doing different, you know. But it, like she I came back to the car and you were like, do that again. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some of it too is, is just the kind of the novelty of a circumstance like that. Yeah. Like, and, and what I guess kind of cool is that it was just really arbitrary. I just happened to have whatever radio station was on and, yeah. and yeah, I guess the radio DJ went to take a shit or something and like <laughs> <laughs> came back. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was going for a while. I hope he's okay. Like in the, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so the thing here, you can you actually turn you play with two things. Uh, so when you're, you fix like a certain amount and then you can just uh, play with the pitch a bit. So that's mm. a kind of a, yeah, it's a loop, but it's, you can always kind of change it. And uh, yeah, and, and it's very low, low fi So yeah. it seems more plastic in a way. I don't know. Yeah. And how with that, like, how do you feel or how, how much do you like, like having a mix of like, say like a looper style one where you hit like record and then again to like set a time versus having a, like a delay pedal where like it just starts going and, and it's doing its own delay. Like, do you like, do you prefer one over the other? Do you like having both? Do you, like, what's the, like versus whether you set the, the, the length of the loop by an action or the length of the loop is set by like the delay time where you just set it. Um, I think, I think one is much more open to mistakes and to randomness than the other. So, uh, yeah, I think when we try to fix a certain time, uh, or you have a goal, it kind of, you can set it very easily, but with a delay pedal, like things can, like in this case, 
I'm I don't even know the amount of time he's gonna loop. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's uh it's a bit random in that mm. sense. And then when I listen to it, uh, some some parts I I grabbed onto and said, okay, I'm gonna play with this. Mm. Others I set loose in the first time I listened to it. So it's um it's really there is that randomness that I like. So it's uh yeah loops. I find loops can be really boring or really interesting <laughs> even if you listen to one 20 times like yeah, yeah you yeah. just said so it's uh uh yeah i like the the idea of a little bit of losing control and mm. in having some mistakes that you hadn't thought about so yeah so that's do you find it different for yourself as a like a performer versus let's say like a, a listener like as an audience member or something like like when you have repetition like that. So like saying something like, uh, whether it's interesting or boring, if you yourself in, as a performer, are you considering like, cause I know for example, like one can use boredom as like an idea. Yeah. So like I'm gonna do the same thing over and over and over. And like, I know it's boring, but like, that's the idea. That's what I'm trying yeah. to do. Whereas as a performer, I know that I'm playing with boredom. Whereas if like, if I'm an audience member, I'm getting bored. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, like, and like, yeah. Where do you? How do you view boredom? Or, or, or maybe not boredom is not the right word here. But like, like, like your your perspective as a performer versus perspective as a listener when using repetition. I guess is it different? That's a very good question. Yeah, because um, I think when you're performing, it's really it's it's harder to get that perspective or mm. you, you really do play with boredom of people. And yeah. <laughs> you never get, well, you get fun out of it. Yeah, when yeah. You think, oh, <laughs> my God, that person must be, re yeah. Yeah, everybody must be really <laughs> bored right now. And you're actually laughing because of that. So mm. it gives you that thrill of extending people's attention or, yeah, yeah or not. <laughs> but uh, so I think it's, yeah, it's a different, perspective but then again you don't turn off uh, the idea that you're playing with an audience so it's you're as a performer I think you can also um, think of how that mm. is perceived by the audience and so it's always because you know you've been in that place yeah yeah, yeah. And, you, <laughs> and you've left early a few times yeah, yeah. so you know it's um, I yeah in a way there are the feeling is different, but I don't think that I completely disconnect mm. the fact that this is being viewed by by someone. And, yeah, yeah. yeah. But as a yeah, then again, I think as an audience member, whenever I felt teased by someone, mm. uh, I I also go along with it. Yeah, so, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so yeah, when you feel like it's too much, sometimes you say, okay, this. You know, he's having fun. So yeah, yeah. yeah. there was a, a friend or someone who uh, was doing their degree at the same time I was wrote a bunch of pieces called I think concert relief or something like that, where the idea was if you're at a concert and you're bored, it was a, a bunch of like pieces that you could perform <laughs> on top of it. Like like I think one of them was like you would like you know if you push in your ear you hear things differently. So you could like you would have like a sort of a little game or a little piece that you would play with just whatever was happening. <laughs> and it was a bunch of pieces like this that you, like if you're in a concert and not enjoying it you yeah. you could then uh play a macro piece on top of that to kind of enjoy yourself which is <laughs> i don't remember his name michael baldwin no it wasn't baldwin mm -hmm. no this is not michael baldwin concert relief concert cool. relief yes okay yeah well, um you fall asleep also that's yeah yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but to actually yeah for a concert to actually get you into that place that uh you relieve so much that you you just yeah, fall fall asleep. It's actually, it's not that bad actually. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you have to do this and just. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I'm trying to remember what the other ones were as well, but that was one that I remember because that's that's something that I've done. <laughs> but there were other A things. Few times. Where, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> cool. So and uh, how did you feel about this? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I enjoyed it. It was kind of nice, and in, in, in a setup like this. Um, I knew kind of something of what like you know because we we've, we've done like a kind of a workshop performance before so I had some kind of rough idea of kind of where you were coming from musically but I didn't I didn't know you know yeah. so like 
I, I sort of thought maybe some objecty things would be nice for it. And I, I kind of liked how things unfolded with the sort of percussive, like I just used this largely like a percussion instrument mm -hmm. and kind of went in a sort of non-pitchy way and just sort of accompanied the sort of loopy, noisy, blippy bits that you were doing. So yeah. I, I really enjoyed the the sort of the combination of textures from that, yeah, yeah. that first half because it was, yeah, quite organic, but then blippy and lo-fi at the same yeah. time, which is... I think I'm trying to play with pitch here and uh, see, yeah, like a range of things so you don't just press different keys and get one, so... Yeah. But, yeah. It's not very easy to move. No. This thing. <laughs> Famously. It's so, like, yeah. oh. <laughs> Sometimes it sounds just one thing. It's yeah, just. Yeah. Uh... <laughs> anyway. Yeah. Shall we play some more? Cool. Yeah, yeah.
If you'd like to support the making of these videos, please join our Patreon. The link is in the description below. Thanks for watching.